Some say it works, some say it don't. All I know is there's only one way to find out. So it is to my understanding that if you simply just change around a few spark plug wires on the main coil pack of these twin spark engines, then it helps with power. Okay, so supposedly all you need to do is swap this one with this one and this one with this one. And apparently what that does is has, see the way this is set up now that this coil pack that fires this side of spark plugs fires on the exhaust stroke, which is supposed to help with the emissions. Okay, I can see that. So by changing uh, the orientation of these, supposedly uh, it will help. It will make this coil pack match the same firing as this coil pack. Instead of firing on the exhaust stroke, you have two ignition coils firing two spark plugs in the same chamber on the uh, ignition to power stroke. So uh, that is apparently what happens. So I'm just gonna go ahead and switch these around and uh, we'll just fire it up and see, what, see if it blows up or not. All right, so there is the coil mod done. Now I should be able to run eights in the quarter. So let's start it up here and see if it uh, does anything. It sounded a little rough on startup. It was idling a little funky, but it definitely... So the exhaust pulses are definitely a lot stronger. So maybe, maybe it does help. Maybe it does help with uh, combustion. Get a stronger flame front. I don't know. Some say it works. Some say it don't. All I know is there's only one way to find out, and that's we need to do some zero to 60 testing. So I've read that you need to drive the car around, kind of let it, let the computer relearn some things supposedly before this actually does anything. So we're just gonna drive the car around and uh, just let it learn some things. And then I'm gonna go back to the spot that I've been doing zero to 60 tests on. I'm gonna get three runs in and we'll average them out and see if this makes any difference over my baseline run of 13.9. All right, so once again, I'm right around the corner from the stretch of road. I'm going to do these runs on. I'm going to turn the bend here, get the car all ready to go, and uh, we'll see if this coil mod actually makes a difference. All right, everything's in place. Once again, manually shifting, and uh, it's got to wait for this car to pass, and we can go. This is run number two. I'm setting up for the last run here so this will be the last run and decide once and for all if the coil mod actually does anything let's see what we can do It's felt a lot slower. That 
that time. It's, uh, wow. Um, <laughs> okay. It really doesn't feel any different, but now it definitely just, in some circumstances, at like that time, it just felt slow. It, and nothing has changed other than swapping those things out. So, I mean, realistically, I don't think it made any difference whatsoever. Um, so, uh, as far as my tests go, the 23 Twin Spark Coil Mod does nothing. Absolutely nothing. Not at all. So if, that, if it changes anything, it's probably just a placebo mod, and that's pretty much where the story ends. You know, maybe it makes some difference with fuel economy. Some people have said that, but my, you know, I was really seeing if it made any difference in power. Um, none whatsoever. Whatsoever. I'm going to actually swap back and see if I can notice any difference. Um, but, yeah. What are you going to do? This is why these tests need to be done, so we know. Thanks, Kirk. You're welcome. So this was really the first test video, um, aside from the baseline video, to see if any of these little mods make any difference to the little 2-3 here. So I hope you really did enjoy the video. But that is it for this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and if you want to see more content like this, then go ahead, subscribe to the channel, and keep a lookout for the next video.